It's live from London via Skype is commentator Jonathan Sacerdotti. Hi, Jonathan. Thank you for joining us again. Hi. What's the latest from London? What are people doing on the streets? So people here are celebrating still, despite the thunderstorms that have taken over from yesterday's uncharacteristically hot weather. And also there's plenty of speculation, as the report said, of what the baby may be called. Now, those who are interested in speculating on that might have a little time to wait because the House of Windsor sometimes take a few weeks, even up to a month, to name their babies. Though, of course, Prince Harry, William's brother, was named apparently in one day, though some uh, unfavorably say he was the spare. So it makes some sense that his name took less time than the more important name of William, who himself will, of course, become king one day. And there is so much talk about the name of the child. What can you tell us about that? Well, uh, I can't tell you anything that uh, anyone else can't tell you, which is that we know very little officially over how they'll choose the name or what the name might be. We know that there will be some discussion with the royal family over the name. It's not a purely private decision, uh, but it could be a break from the traditional names, as some of the royal family have done in recent years, or they could stick with something more traditional, especially uh, knowing that this child will one day be the king of the United Kingdom. So popular names uh, at the bookies at the moment include George and Edward, which are the two front runners. Also Henry, James, Charles, Michael, Philip. These are all names that have appeared before in the family and these are all names that will be fitting to the third in line to the throne. And have you seen anything especially fun or eccentric as people celebrate the birth? I mean, how far are people taking this? Well, actually, what's fascinating to see is uh, how far the celebrations have spread around the world. It's not just British people, of sure. course, who this child will one day be the monarch of. It's also those in the Commonwealth and other territories around the world. And, of course, when the baby was born, uh, Prince William's private secretary notified uh, 15 other territories um, who have an interest in this monarch. And there have been gifts sent from various countries around the world already. There has been a gift sent from New Zealand, uh, a gift sent from uh, Australia, though it's not sent. It's, it's a dedication of some sort of wildlife uh, animal uh, charity. Uh, there have been gifts from Finland, all over the world, really. So as well as the people celebrating on the street in rather exuberant manner, there have been official gifts already coming in for the new baby. Yes, it is quite the global event at the moment. And many people were hopeful that it would be a baby girl, considering that the last two generations have seen male heirs. What was the reaction to the news of the infant being a boy? I think there was a little bit of surprise, because for no reason that I can fathom, people had decided they thought it might be a girl. It was always made very clear that the couple themselves had no idea of the gender of the baby, and it was always made certain that it was not announced. So there was a 50-50 chance that it would be a boy or a girl. And now that it's a boy, of course, everybody is delighted about the news. But as you say, it means that there will be another male monarch after Charles, after William, then there will be this baby. So we've had a very long reign from Her Majesty the Queen now. But following her reign, there will be three male heirs to the throne who will rule over the country. Well, it's very exciting indeed. Thank you so much for joining us and for keeping us updated yesterday and today on the story. That was Jonathan Sacerdotti joining us from London.